right, folks, I'm going to do a quick little review on the uh, Trail Hogs, Kanadi Trail Hog ATs. Uh, they're mountain and snowflake rated for extreme weather conditions. Um, they had generous siping when I bought them. This is about 10,000 miles later. The siping on the outsides of the lugs, or the outside lugs, are actually pretty good. But on the inside, not so much. They do not go all the way down the tread block, and that disappoints me a bit. However, with tires like these, you know that the snow on the road, which is mostly ice, and packed down is where tires like these have the biggest issues now as you can see I've got crew set 55 miles an hour and this is what the roads look like not awesome not deep snow but I think we all can attest that these tires can handle the deep snow I know it that's for sure five foot snow banks six foot snow banks I've ran them all over. It doesn't matter. These things just kick it up and go. However, this is where tires like these have an issue. And even with the siphon going away, I'm doing 55 miles an hour. I'm not having any issues. I am in two wheel drive, as indicated by this down here. Nothing on the dash. I don't edit my videos. They're all done on the cell phone. I don't know how to do all that stuff. But these tires are great. I don't get me wrong, the truck I drive will spin the tires at any speed if I hit the throttle. But you'll have that with 400 horsepower. So, as far as these tires are concerned, I want to do some deep snow stuff for you guys. There's plenty of stuff around my place that I can do. It'd be short, but I'm telling you, I've gone through fresh powder up over my bumper, halfway up my grill. For long distances, these tires don't skip a beat, they just go. Um, I'm in northern New York. I'm driving into what was a blizzard last night anyways, and the roads are just crap and this is a couple hours after it stops snowing so if anything else pops up i'll let y'all know have a good one